morning and welcome back to Cosmeteer. My name is Pooks and today we will be continuing on with the Iron Man Admiral series. So let's load it up and let's go. Now, um, I only have an hour and 10 minutes. In fact, I've just set a timer for that. So we have a strict time limit. I've got places to be. Um, and there won't be another stream until Tuesday night. It's currently Sunday morning um, to give some reference for people. In the last stream, we redesigned the owl. Um, we actually need to make that the Mark V now as well. Uh, so that is now updated. I will be updating the packs on Steam as well. Uh, as soon as I get an opportunity, so anyone who's hanging up to actually get a copy of the Mark V Owl, that will come very shortly. But what I want to do before that happens is do some minor upgrades to our ships, and I also want to start doing some mining to replenish some of the materials that we've uh, expended upgrading the Owl, and also then just repairing it just now, or just before. Um, yeah, so we'll hand in the bounties that we did actually complete yesterday as well. We'll go and rehire those crew members that we lost as well. As you can see, we need more crew. Uh, we're just shy of full complement on the owl. We do have a full complement on the Ares and the Kestrel, but the Trodoc, uh is down at minimum crew levels, and we'll need to bump that up for mining purposes. The other thing that we do need to do on the Trodoc, which we'll just quickly do, that white bit here is annoying me somewhat, so we're just going to grab the uh, this, and I think it's the paintbrush space. Yeah, we can do a box, and we can just make that all the, the right colour, at least. Uh, the other thing here is our decals, uh, the safety sort of things that we've got going on here. I think I want that to be kind of cut and move down here so that we have the safety coming off the edge. It actually does need armor here instead to make that uh, make sense a bit more. But that at least fixes some of the, what I see as the egregious sort of things. Uh, I think we also, I was talking about shadowing out, right? Um, the these bits have I got mirror on no I don't have mirror on so let's turn that back on and quickly get these ones done I'm gonna rush through these because uh, yeah we've got very little time and I'm gonna try and emphasize more of the doing the things that we need to do in this stream rather than oop, explaining all the things that I'm doing so apologies if you really want the explanations but yeah, so we're going to make them stand out a little bit more. I'm wondering if it needs kind of like that as well. Yeah, that softens it a bit as well. Cool, alright. So that's that painting done. We also wanted to update the paint on the Kestrel. So, yeah, this needs a major revamp. So we're going to do this as quickly as possible again. Um, drop that. And instead... We want this, let's go to the line function and we'll line that up like so. And then we'll do the same here. Um, line there, yeah, that's it. And I'm pretty good there. Then we'll want the corner edge points. Nope, did that wrong there. There and there. Cool. Then the light blue color. Uh, we will grab here. We want to delete. Yep, that's right. Uh, that does make sense. Now, that's the shading though. Yep, there we are. Back to light blue. Grab the solid, and if I had had the box, then that would have been good. All right, that makes a bit more sense. And then we also want more shading 
All right, down the sides, I think. Yeah, it was like this, I believe. Then like so. Now we've also got these areas here spiking out. We'll put them in. Now, someone was suggesting a um, a red colour as well, I believe, in a previous um, previous uh, comment on YouTube. Sorry, it took me a while to actually think through there. So that's what we're going to do. We'll switch to the box because that's going to be more useful for here to do like highlights on the wingtips, um, which I thought was a good idea. Um, uh, yeah, that makes a bit more sense, cool. Um, but also on the point defences. So we'll do that. Um, and what I was thinking with the point defence is that if we do this, of course the shadowing is on top, so we'll probably want to move that like so. That makes a bit more sense now as well. We'll just drop these in. And then we'll want that on basically any of the pointy bits. Uh, we'll make it consistent because otherwise those thrusters kind of look a little bit odd. Um, and yeah, we're already seeing a bit of an improvement here. The Kestrel writing is out of place too, so we're going to uh, turn off that and just move it up and grab the whole number and move it up here. Okay, uh, the final thing that looks out of place here is our shadowing on this. So we're gonna move this up, move this up. I should have turned on this function, but that's fine. Move that up, go down like that, go up like that, and then along like that. That kind of works for me kinda, because I think that needs to be this function instead, and then we run it along like so. Uh, no, wrong way, there, good, all right. That's not perfect, but it will do as a kind of a quick revamp. All right, so we have a new coat of paint for the Kestrel, that's excellent. Um, I do wanna repaint the owl at some point, but this will take a lot more detail and I want to have a think about it. Um, and the Aries, I'm going to have to repaint it once I actually redesign it. I was thinking with the Aries here that we actually want to slim it down a bit. Basically, I want to increase its speed more than anything else so I can get into position faster to support the owl. Uh, but that may not be for today. The other thing that I want to create is a sun diver ship uh, to get um, precious materials. So I think that might be Tuesday night stream um, where we design a sun diver ship, send it into sun, grab some materials for us, and you know, good things will happen from there. But uh, yeah, I think today the rest of the today's stream is just going to be just going to be some uh, mining so if you're not interested in that that's time to chill and to tune out basically um, we will send our ships along with the trodoc here uh, but the trodoc is going to be the star of today's show we'll transfer crew to the trodoc no, we're fully crewed because we decrewed the Aries. All right, that's good. That's what we want. Now, in terms of the Trodoc, what do we need? We need kind of everything. Um, but we also need to give it some more specification in terms of what it holds, right? So we've got too much Hyperium, for example. So, and we need a lot more copper and bits and pieces there. We definitely need more uranium. Um, so, and we need Tritanium too. So what I might do is say that you are, oh, turn off this. You're a steel bunker. You're a steel bunker as well. 
and you're a steel bunker. And then I think we're gonna go for, in terms of storage here, uh, we have uranium set, we've got carbon set, we've got copper set, we've got gold set, and we've got iron set as well as iron and sulfur for missile production. Uh, this seems like a good steel bunker as well, so we'll put that down. And then from there, I might designate an extra copper bunker. This is all, yeah, hang on, you can actually feed that, you should be feeding that as well. I don't know why, ah, there's no door there, okay, that seems, uh, we need more doors. There we are, that'll fix that. Uh, I've wondered why it wasn't feeding in. Um, I feel like tri steel would be a good thing. How, where have I got tri steel? I've got capacity for what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, 26, 28, 30. Uh, 30 time. The zero to so 300, is that right? Yeah. So, I think we're gonna go for another full tri steel bunker. We're gonna go for more rich uranium, a bit more diamond, and a bit more processes. And then I'll be good. I will be happy with that function if we get all this. All right, so we're all set in terms of dedicated storage. Let's go mining now. There's a heap of tri-steel and resources up this way. So that's where we're gonna go first. We've got plenty of escorts for the Trodoc at the moment. And because we have a full crew complement, I'm gonna set them all to be the minor priority as well. I need to set them to red shirts, I believe, when they don't have the full co crew complement. And we're coming up on copper, which is actually one of the things we need. So we'll go with the gather here and tear this, this asteroid apart. It's picked it all up, good. Yeah, we're reasonably effective in tearing asteroids apart now, which is great. Now we've got a Tritanium here and here, so we definitely want to pick those guys up. So far our formations aren't causing us too much difficulty. That'll probably change, but... Oh, this is a decent sized one. starting to get full on the actual ore. So I've got to just watch it that I don't leave a whole heap of goodies behind. Ah, 
like, yep, we nearly missed some. Usually that's not a problem because the asteroids tend to be, you know, so small that we don't counter that issue. But it is something that I'm thinking that maybe I should uh, invest in a little, just a bit more of a bunker for the, the raw material, so to speak. Uh, we'll keep on grabbing this copper. This copper is a good thing for our hypercoil production. Oh, come on, man. Ow. Alright, there is a uranium asteroid over here. Definitely want to pick that up. We also got some uh, some comments on the last or most recently uh, released episode just this morning. Uh, so thank you everyone for that. And uh, yeah, point defense was the, the topic and whether or not third party um, or you know escort ships are effective at um, point defense instead of taking it all on the owl. And what it seemed to be is that they're not as effective when the um, the they're not facing the missiles head on, which usually means that you have to put them in front, and that can cause problems with the line of sight in terms of firing um, solutions from your vessels, of course, which we occasionally have that problem with the owl when it's actually tanking the enemies uh, already, but also that the the shots or the point defense shots aren't as good when they're trying to defend other ships because it's coming in at an angle. So that's something that I'm going to have a think about in terms of whether or not I do go with escort sh ships for the owl. I think it is going to be necessary ultimately. Um, I think that the owl may have some real trouble when it goes up against nukes in particular. We'll try steel down here so we definitely don't want to miss that. Um, and I'm a little bit worried about when that day comes uh, because as far as I can tell uh, just watching other people deal with nukes is that you either want to make sure that they never get the chance to launch them is one strategy so keep out of their range or things like that uh, which you know the Kestrel would need to slim down and do have a fairly major design and take it on by themselves basically Ow really um, or something along the lines of um, point defense so taking out the nukes before they come in which I think with the larger Imperial ships might be really challenging because they launch a lot of nukes or just getting out of the way because from the observed effect that I've had of the nukes is they shoot out they take a pause um, to determine where they're going and then they take a terminal dive at where they're going so they try and predict where the, the ship's going to be and what I've seen is that if your ships are running away or orbiting pretty quickly they can actually outrun the nukes or just kind of dodge them um, so something like the Ares if it was fast enough could potentially take on a nuclear ship just by orbiting it uh, so that's what I'm thinking is maybe one of our options as well. Alright, good salvage here. We definitely have too much Hyperion though. And for some reason they're putting it in a place where I don't want it to be, so I'm going to tell them to go stick that out the airlock. See if they need to pick up Hyperion at all. But otherwise, that's not what we're after. I think it's picked it up because it already had some existing, so it was basically saying, you know, we might as well go for the full stack, which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, the owl needs some, the Ares might need some. 
Kestrel might need some. What do we got over here? We've got ammo. Uh, which... Uh, does Ares need ammo? I don't think so. It should have a fairly full bunker. Kestrel won't use it. Oh, the Kestrel would use it, actually. Actually, I haven't topped up the Kestrel in a while. Ah, no, it's good. It's got plenty of sulfur. There's plenty of ammo over there. Cool. Um, Alright, so that was a wreck. We've got a carbon asteroid down here, but we might as well follow the asteroid belt as we go down. And I might just go... Uh, marker and call this start mine so I know where I've been I'm actually unsure as to which wrecks I've salvaged now so that might be a bit of a problem for me uh, copper I know I need copper I'm actually going to get the kestrel to start the mine here and the reason for that it, oh, not the Kestrel, no, the Ares. The Ares might need some copper. Never mind, never mind. Another road for him. This is uh, just too hard to mine, but the uh, Ares needs copper and... Um, iron, I think, for its EMP missiles. Not that I'm thinking that EMP missiles may last all that lot much longer. I'm not sure how good their utility is at the moment, but we'll kind of see, right? Because we might see that they're a lot more uh, get a lot more use in the next zone because they do have the ability to drain energy from systems, which can be a really good thing, particularly if you hit cockpits or something like that uh, with it. I mean, obviously shields are a main source, but energy weapons they drain stuff from, and they have a big AOE for that. Cool, more copper done. There's a uranium asteroid just down here. We'll take that out. And then just continue along the belt here. Come on, Al. Stop. Stop derping. Now, there were some uh, earlier videos as well commenting that if I turned off my normal coil factory, then I could get uh, hypercoils built a lot faster as well. I did respond as well, but, you know, uh, I figure it's knowledge that uh, everyone could use. And, yeah, I knew that as well, but I want uh, coils to be built at the same time. So, uh, I think that was at the stage when I was just basically making hypercoils for money, but ultimately I would need more coils to make more hypercoils anyway in the end and to refill our bunkers for actual construction purposes as well. And now that I'm using more advanced materials and more advanced sort of things then hypercoils are going to be more and more something that I'll need. I think here what I should do is actually form up the Kestrel Owl, the Ares on the Owl. And we'll go one and two. No, that doesn't work. All right. But this way I can just move the Owl and move the Trodoc independently and not worry about this weird sort of, we can't work out where we want to finally sit because there are asteroids in the way. Kind of frustrating. All right, move a little bit closer bit closer still and just rotate. There we are. But yeah, now I'm starting to fill up on hypercoils, I believe. I think that's a hypercoil. Base is no, it's a normal coil. We've got 680. Can I actually 
actually want to convert some of those normal coils to hyper variety instead. In terms of storage, I think the Trodoc is going to need a bit of an upgrade as well though. Um, it's going to need some more storage space basically as we start to build bigger ships in particular and uh, you know as our likelihood that we're going to need to re replace an entire ship increases uh, then having enough materials on hand is going to get more and more important which means the uh, the Trodoc really could use a bit of a space upgrade all right uh, where's that carbon oh it's all the way back there I might just send the car Trodoc to go grab that because those diamonds are going to be really important for our ability to um, uh, to get something something that's named uh, the Sun Diver ship. Large shields take up a fair bit of diamonds, and I do have a plans for a laser beam uh, ship or ships. Uh, right? You know. I think uh, a small fleet might be the way to go with our laser beams uh, and try and do some kind of like a wolf pack sort of scenario. I don't know, many plans, many plans, but not enough crew. Seems to be the, uh, the motto in this game. Apparently there's a wreck out here and a wreck out here. I'll go check out to see if I've uh, not find those out yet. In a second, once I've got this copper and this titanium. Because obviously, uh, taking pre-refined materials is a lot better than um, trying to mine it and refine it yourself. done. We want Tritanium next. And there's a little copper guy. Grab it while we're here. That's in. Cool. Let's head out to the wreck. The owl can accompany us. Yep, there's still something here. Get him, boys. So that's a heap of metal, there's a heap of ammo running around. There's, uh, there's some sulfur here, does anyone need sulfur? Uh, the Kestrel might want it. Can you grab anything here? Yep. Owl, can you grab anything? No. Nope. And, oop, turn off the gather mode. And can the Ares grab anything? It can grab some sulfur, yeah, okay. Another wreck done. So there was a dead base here. I'm wondering if I haven't done that one. Maybe I haven't done the dead base. I think I because I approached up this way. So and there was a free ship there. That's right. Yes, there is a base. We can take it. There's probably a heap of wrecks here too, from when I first visited. Ah, there's even an intact reactor. That is going to be helpful. This might take a while though. So I think we will get this other crew helping to uh, disassemble it. We don't seem to have any incoming. So the Owl's crew can start there. The Kestrel can start helping breaking down the big base. Trodox now picking it all up. Yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. 
And I think this is going to help a lot with uh, all the materials that we're after. Because there's a couple of large shields here that will have diamonds. I seem to have uh, railed in from this side, I think. Not to mention the storage components might actually have things that are worthwhile to us as well. We're doing on time. Got to keep an eye on that. Uh, we have 39 minutes remaining at the moment. Good, good, good. Yeah, we've got hyper coils here. We're actually going to end up leaving a whole heap of good stuff still. dead ships might ha have some of the things that we want. Try steel. If I manage to leave any reactors intact. Ironically, it's not the hypercoils that we're after, it's just the normal coils. Still got crew in you. <laughs> We've been here for days, man. We've been here for days. Nobody's coming to rescue us. That's right. Nobody cares, you filthy pirates. Yeah, we've got some rarer, rarer elements or possibly just coils. Either way, we'll take them. say that there's still some good uh, some good earning capacity here. I think I have mined out this area though. There's still a pirate wandering around this area I believe. There's a pirate base up here and we've still got some bounties to attend to. So that's why I'm going to stay away from that area for the time being. Yeah okay. Now all the pirates are running around and dying. Fall off the Kestrel and the Owl, like so. The Trodok off down here. The Owl. Really? Derpin. You be Derpin. Uh, now, we deviated from the Roid Belt there, so that's where we'll send our ships back to. The Wreck Owl. Ooh! Protanium! It's the good stuff. Calculating some things there for a reason, for some reason. Those. Uh, do I need any iron? Let's just check. Yeah, we do need some iron for something. I've got an iron bunker there that needed filling up. All right, that's done. Uh, copper. We always need copper. Yeah, the game's occasionally having a good think now. Not sure why. Right, another couple of right down. 
down here. Send out the Ares to check if that was um, salvaged or not. Nope, that's uh, that's still a very intact ship. Oh, we've got all the copper we need now, so I suspect it's just rare elements that we need. We've got plenty of steel, it's the rarer stuff now, full up on copper. So we will salvage this ship, um, but then I think we'll RTB, and we might go to Angrono Station. And from there, what I'm thinking is that get the Ares and everyone else to help out here. We will design our Sun Diver because the Sun has rare elements in it but we of course need something that's going to survive mining the Sun. Ooh, this might have some diamonds too. Unlucky. Alright. So everyone head over to here please. Mark the end mine. Uh, looks like there's some uranium up here and some tri steel and some gold. And when I do go sun mining, I'll have to pass by this asteroid. I reckon I haven't mined those yet. So yeah, we will get a sun mining design in place uh, today. We've got 32 minutes, that's plenty of time to design a new ship. I hope. It does, actually does take quite some time. Uh, now we're low on crew, which means we won't be able to simultaneously crew everything again. But we will be making the Mark II kind of, of the Icarus. Or possibly the Destiny. I feel like the Destiny uh, could be a good name as well for the ship in question. Good old Stargate reference. But it's not going to be shaped in any way like the Destiny from Stargate, so yeah. Okay. So we've got a station here, they should be able to supply us with a few extra goodies when we're making this thing. We'll slow down to normal time because there's no point in going fast anymore and we're going to choose to build a new ship here. We'll go to the blueprint mode, um, which is always a good thing. We've got the mirror line, we'll switch that on. Okay, so this thing really needs large shields to power it. Um, we're going to need overlapping large shields in particular. So we'll start at the front here, go like this, then I'm going to go two steps like this, and then I think another one, maybe here, right? And then we're going to chuck large reactors in the middle. We will put door here, door here, we're going to put corridors here, door here, door here, and corridor here, door here, door here. So this is going to basically be our shield from the sun up the front. And you can see already we're going to have to make uh, purchase some uranium here. So I'm really hoping I'm going to find some uranium in the sun to um, get, my back, get back my losses, basically. Um... I think 8 shields should do it. There's actually not too much point putting in armor apart from just a, a loss situation. 
like as in we can maybe get out but these need to be yeah I can't put armor here for example because otherwise the armor will just melt through until the shield can properly project so yeah this this ship is not going to be again designed for con combat at all even though it potentially could with this amount of shielding at the front um, I'm not going to try it convert it to a dual purpose ship I think it may actually be a bad idea now the other thing that I do want though is tractor beams and we're gonna chuck in two of them to give us um, a bit of speed to what we're doing here um, actually I'm thinking I'll, I'll chuck them back back here so we can get plenty of crew access for here um, yeah, that'll work, I think, I hope. And crew-wise, we're going to do crew quarter here, crew quarter here. I'm going to want some flight controls, and so far I'm using 64. I'll probably want more. Um, before I put that in though, I might design some engine clusters. So, we we'll want to use huge thrusters. Is that going to be under the shield umbrella? Yes, it will. Good. We'll do that. We're going to put in an engine room like that. Shield Thru oh, thruster cluster, thruster cluster, thruster, thruster. Alright, so that's our means of getting this back and forth. So it's going to be a little short, kind of bricky ship here. And this could almost use um, reactors right next to it, right? Otherwise it's going to be a bit of a pain. So, two people to run it in, in general. I'm thinking mid reactors? Or even just a small reactor? A small might do it. I'm gonna try. It might not, but it might do it. And the worst case is that we just run out of when we're trying to move around, right? So the worst case is not all that bad. The worst case up here is really bad. The worst case down here is, you know, not so bad. Now, in terms of the lineup, this shield is going to end here, which is fine. If it was, um, say, ending here, I may have had a problem because this is the most, this is a shield that's most vulnerable to collapse as opposed to this one. If anything's going to break, it's going to be the outer edge ones. Uh, obviously, we don't want any shielding break, uh, and we definitely need really good crew assignment up here. I'm almost thinking, actually, that we move this down, move this down, and just to be sure, put crewing like this. So we have that, 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 instead, and then that. Maybe, maybe not. Go out like that. I just, I just don't want this to blow up for a lack of crew, right? That would just be stupid of me. So we're gonna do that. All right. Uh, so these guys need how many crew to run? Tractor beam. It's command point. Crew required four. All right, so we can kind of nope these ones in like that. Oh, we can't. All right, we'll just kind of reverse you around. So. All right, there's the doors to crew those completely. Now they're going to need power as well. Not sure how much power they take. This is going to be uranium intensive. 
Uh, yeah, I think we will instead grab this guy like that. The little door here. Uh, yeah, I think there's limits there. Alright, cool. Um, we will put fire extinguisher, as I said in a previous stream, if you're sending someone into the sun, it feels a bit rude not to provide them with a fire extinguisher. Granted, it's not going to help them all that much, but, you know, safety first. Okay. So, we'll uh, drop in some armor. Alright, that makes it valid, at least, so we can see how much we're going to spend on this thing. We are purchasing a lot of uranium, right? Uh, we're also purchasing a heap of diamonds and a heap of hypercoils as well. Um, I think I'll finish the design and then I might make some changes to the layout of the Trodox so I can make some more hypercoils rather than us having to purchase it because we've got the materials on hand. Uh, and there's no reason why we shouldn't use the materials on hand. So we'll go next to flight. We are going to want... Uh, it's 156 control points needed. This will give us 250. So... We'll do that. No, we're going to do it... Like that. I think so. So we're going to need crew to crew that as well. Do it like so. I'm going to put a corridor here. And that way the, the excess crew guy is the guy who's going to go occasionally run out and grab more power for the cockpit. We will also want power for the tractor beams. So I will switch this back on and use these guys to provide that power. And then I think that's pretty much it, right? It shouldn't need rear shielding because we're not going to turn around at all. Um, all we're going to go in is we're going to go in uh, front on, and then we're going to go back out, back on. Now the danger is angles at the moment, especially as we get closer to the sun, that's going to get more and more dangerous. So. I'm going to be using the Z key a lot. And the Z key is useful. Uh, what I might do actually is just in the event of an emergency, kiss your ass goodbye. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> um, we're just going to drop in enough armor so if it does take a shot for some reason, then it's not going to go straight through into this. Otherwise, though, it's it's definitely not built for uh sorry for all the blipping as well it's like i'm swearing like a pirate here bleep 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 uh, yeah we'll just do that all right so that's our basic shape we should have, we can crew that, we've got people to run power to it, two large reactors to run the power to the shielding, uh, small reactors just on the engines, and that will hopefully do it. Now if I find that the, l the power drain from this is causing problems in terms of the upkeep from the large reactors to the shields, I'll just turn off the uh, tractor beams. and then we'll back out slowly and do a bit of an update and actually give them a de dedicated reactor. But otherwise, I think this should be able to, and we can put that de dedicated reactor in the middle here. But otherwise, I think this can do what we wanted to do, which is just to slowly edge forward into the sun, pick up a asteroid, and then edge back out. I believe as you get closer to the sun, it does put more pressure on the shields as well, so we'll have to watch that. And in terms of things that we need to buy here, we need to buy diamonds. Yep, there's no way around that. But 
as well as your enriched uranium. But the hypercoils are something that we can make ourselves. So that is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do here is save the ship design. And we are going to call it the Icarus. We'll put in the Pooks Iron Man thing for upload. Uh, we need to save it here. Uh, we'll call it the Mark 1. Um, and, because, and the reason why I'm saving it as well is so because when I do this, it's going to say, hey, make sure you, you uh, either make it so or save your design because, you know, you're not going to be able to, it's going to disappear like that. So just be aware of that if you're going to do run back like I am here and do some changes. So our changes are is that we're going to start marking these for hypercoils in this particular room. Uh, we won't do that. There we are. And just to get us started us off on the construction, we'll just move one out of the way, crack up the speed, and then this will start the process of converting them all. And what I might actually tell it to do is turn off this coil factory so that it just make it from there. I'm going to use the existing stocks. I'm going to pick those up. Um, we just ran out of copper? No, we didn't, because I can tell that to also feed that one. My luck, we're going to run out of coils instead, but they're a lot cheaper to buy, so... Cool, alright. Uh, we're going to need more copper now. <laughs> uh, we can turn this guy back on. Awesome. So, now when we go to build the ship, uh, build your ship here, we load up that paste into existing the Icarus. And we just drop it here. Then it's significantly cheaper to make it so because we just made all the hypercoils ourselves. Alright. So let's do it. Uh, we've designed the Icarus as well. I'm gonna have to rename this in the YouTube export to no longer be uh, minor ship designs it's going to be called building the Icarus instead but let's hit the make it so button and there we go we have a ship uh, now in terms of crewing it we're going to transfer the dudes from the Trodoc to the Icarus instead uh, it says unnamed it's going to take 72 crew geez all right uh, that's fine we'll get the Trodoc down to minimum Oh, airlocks. Of course, we forgot airlocks. My bad. Um, airlocks there. And we probably want airlocks there. Yeah. Doors, doors. I think that will mean that everyone can get everywhere they need to be. Cool. Um, Alright, so transfer crew to unnamed ship. Unpause that. And I think we'll transfer the crew from the Kestrel. To the Icarus as well. Alright, we'll actually give it the name. Give it a minder. Minder! Uh, slash minor. <laughs> it mines the sun and it mines the sun. Alright, now let's give some crew priority as well to make this more effective. Right, really important. You are on this. You are on this. You are on this. And you are on this. 
That's your jobs. Also, I've got the doors in the wrong place. Ah, oh, I can't put them there. Alright, so, so be it. The doors are in the right places. Uh, you guys are like that. You, you, and you are like that. Then, obviously, you're both on that duty. We do not want people floating between airlocks uh, when we're in the middle of the sun, because they will burn to a crisp. You're going to power these, as well as this. And then we want to turn off mirror mode and tell this to power this. Okay, so there's not going to be cross-powering, basically. Everyone should go to the right places. I shouldn't even have to set up crew roles here. Now, the one thing it doesn't have that I probably should have put on is a sensor thing as well. So that's an upgrade that we can run to it. And potentially more shielding in the future is the other thing that we might need to do. But otherwise, we are going to send our fleet up to the sun so that everyone can just keep an eye on each other. We'll base them off the Trodoc. Uh, the Kestrel is just going to sit here, I think. Um, the combination of the Owl and Ares should be able to should be able to keep everyone safe, I think. And wish me luck, because if this thing blows up, then I I have to suffer that loss and do a lot of more mining to replace my losses. It will be a major expensive setback. Uh, I wish I'd actually brought the Kestrel, or could bring the Kestrel, because that's the one with a sensor pod. Why is it? Oh, the Trodoc is having issues. Uh, where is your crew, man? You know what? It's fine. You'll, uh, you'll work it out. You'll get there in the end. We'll move you a little bit closer. Alright, and we'll slow down. And Icarus, you are up. Now... We want you rotated towards the sun as much as possible. All right, so I'm going R and I'm saying center. I'm clicking on the center here. And then if you use the Z key, it will strafe your ship. So we, we kind of want to strafe towards the sun and we want to strafe back. So we're just going to take it to the edge first. And then I'm going to grab these as my thing. They're only firing at target. And push or pull to keep the target at the current distance. Alright, yep. That seems about right. So we will strafe into the sun just lightly, and we're going to see how our power requirements go. Alright, people coming out of the crew bunks to start powering things. They're going back and forth. That's exactly what we want to see. shields are holding. This is a good sign. Alright, we're going to start edging towards the sun a little bit more. Here's a uranium asteroid. Alright, so that's a good target for us to start off with. We're just going to edge to the left here first. Shields are dropping down a little bit more. We're going to definitely keep an eye on that as we just creep in closer to the sun because we're going to start taking more damage and we need to make sure that these are continuously getting enough power to keep us alive. So that's looking a little bit more concerning now. So we're only dipping in a little bit into the sun at the moment. Noise interference. 
So what I could do here to improve this is actually move our large reactor core so it's further towards the outside, so it's less time between these guys transferring power to the outer shields, because they're the most demand, right? So we want less delay between when it can use some more power and when someone's going to be triggered to go and pick that up. So we will redesign that as we come out of the sun, but I do want to pick up this uranium asteroid. So we're going to... Uh, actually, it's... Uh, I can target that. But I, uh, I think we'll set it to pull. And we're going to tell them to target... T this asteroid. Alright, so we're reaching out and we're starting to pull power into our tractor beams as well. We want to make sure that we're not going to run out of power on our reactors now. Okay, voice is low in the game sound. How? Thank you for letting me know. Let's go fix that now. Uh, max out my voice. I do have problems with this microphone where it seems to want to auto um, change my sound volume and it's not a driver related issue. Uh, how's that sounding for now? That's better? Cool. Alright, thank you for letting me know. Because uh, there's, there's nothing worse. Uh, it's a little bit louder for me, to be honest, but... Okay. I think that's about the distance we want it to be. We don't want it to be mocking us around, so... Nope, nope. Okay, that's fine. And then we're just going to back it out of here. Oh, maybe just a little bit. So, just a little bit unstable. This power is taking a beating on those shields. Also, welcome to the chat for the first time. <laughs> And also, thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciated. Yep, we're going to survive. We are going to survive. That is a good thing. I, I like surviving. I'm going to turn that sound down, though, because that is horrible for me. Um, yeah, we'll just drop the effects. And the interface can go down. Okay. Keep backing it out. No longer hear game sound at all. All right. It's a balancing act. Should be able to now. slightly more for you. Put away when I brought my voice up. Yeah, it's it's hard to determine what's good because I don't get the same audio feedback. And it, then it seems to vary a little bit from game to game as well. But, alright, we've done our first successful sunfish. There's only a little bit of actual uranium in here. It's a big asteroid, but there's not actually much. Uh, we'll tell it to detarget. There we are. Okay, so before we go back into the sun, I think 
that what I'm going to do is do a quick redesign here. And I'm going to move, uh, hang on, I should turn on this. So move out like this, move out like this, move out like this. Uh, let me think here. I think I'm okay with a couple of corridors here. And we'll drop these in. All right, so door, 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 door. That's everything. Actually, I might just drop it there as well. Um, and I might make a way for them to get through if need be. I don't think it should be necessary, but it's not going to be very expensive. Okay. You're now hearing the interface beeps. Alright, so that should be enough to hear sound effects as well, which I was hoping to keep up. Uh, now that I've done that, I just want to check that it's done. Yeah, it had changed crew assignment, that's fine. Uh, we want to make sure that that's on the level like, still. Yeah, no worries. I think people have to crank me a little bit. I find that I'm quite quiet on YouTube as well, but I can't get my mic any louder than it is, so... That's just something I'm going to have to invest in, uh, is better, better sound, better microphone. Alright, so that's good. We'll immediately call it the Icarus Mark II. And we'll give it another go into the sun here, I think. So, we'll uh, just set the rotation to be directly on the sun, and then use the Z key to bring us slowly in. Or as slow as this ship actually goes. Alright, we're starting to get some incoming. Taking a hit, still. Well, uh, just creeping forward a little bit more. As long as we don't buffer out. Shields are definitely fine. Alright, so let's see if we can find another asteroid. This is where having a sensor pod on this would be a much better idea. So we'll just kind of creep in a little bit closer to the sun. Going. It's certainly taking a lot more hits as we get closer. Still keeping up. Go off to the left. There's a carbon asteroid over here. Alright, so we'll go more to the left and then I'm going to re rotate to the middle because otherwise I think we'll start seeing the armor start chipping off on the right. So, center. Then more to the left again. And we are running out of time as well, so we're just going to grab this last carbon asteroid. And then that'll be it for today. Alright, cool. So we'll grab these guys, control T to yoink him. And then we'll start moving back. Ooh, got the wobbles. I 
think because the center of mass on the carbon asteroid or the asteroids in general that's a decent one too um are not great uh that's why the ship starts wob um wobbling we'll have to stay at this distance for a while while it comes in it is huge i like the sun effects on the asteroid them as well Speed it up because we don't seem to be having actually any problems. A few wobbles again. As it doesn't wobble too much, then we'll be fine. Bring the Trodoc and its friends. Whoa, no, no. Careful. I can just see that the owl is going to plow into the sun, and yeah, see, that would have caused disaster where it's sitting here now. That would have been death. Ugly, horrible death. Cool. Alright, then we can cancel that off. Bring the Trodoc along. Move some crew over to the Trodoc. Uh, and then, yeah, we can gather it all up and make some diamonds back that we just spent. In particular realm after uranium, unfortunately that first uranium asteroid, I should probably mark that I put it there. There's one around there. Uh, only had a little bit of your actual uranium in it, which is a bit disappointing considering how much I spent to actually just build this ship. But I don't think it's going to be able to go too deep into the sun. Um, but that's all that we'll be able to do. Anyway, the timer is up, so that's the end of the stream today. I hope everyone enjoyed. Thank you very much, Wemo, for letting me know about the sound issues. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, we'll have another stream on Tuesday. I will see you then. Cheers. Bye.